Ladies and gentlemen, it is 9 p.m. Atlantic time. Welcome to episode 405 of the Maritime Paintball Podcast. That was a bit of an echo now, wasn't it? Let me try that again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 405 of the Maritime Paintball Podcast. Uh, Coming to you live, 97.9 CHSR FM, as well as uh, Facebook, Instagram. No, not Instagram anymore. Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. My name is Brad O'Dell, and with me as always is... Your king of paintball. Ooh, I like the emphasis on king. It's just like... That's why it's capitals. It's capitals? It's capitalized for a reason. Ah, I see. Nice to be here on beautiful 97.9 CHSR in lovely Fredericton. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, as far as we know, the only radio show and podcast, radio show dedicated to paintball and sandwiches. Mm, that's true. Because I didn't get to tell anybody about the delicious gabagool that I had. Oh, yes. We the were, that sandwich I made, even though I was all messed up, I made you guys a delicious sandwich that you just... You were in rough shape, man. You were in rough shape yeah. from D-Day. That was wild. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was right. wild. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay for it uh, for the next few weekends because this weekend <laughs> uh, we got Monkey Paintball Streetball. Uh, uh, which, as far as I know, has been moved to Sunday because the weather is much nicer. So a great treat for all the fathers that are going to come out to the field. Uh, I'm going to be out there. Uh, the Prince of Paintball is going to be out there with me. I know that the gas man and his party animals are supposed to be there. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody. I've been, a bunch of the Nova Scotia lads are coming up. Uh, I heard Cameron Bow was supposed to be joining us, which I'm, I always look forward to seeing Cameron. Um, and then the following week we're going to enemy and then yeah. the following week is uh, i am going to axp for their for the uh, the game the saigon game oh which... yeah the saigon i am very bummed that i'm missing the saigon game uh i'm Sa- bummed Sa- that you're missing saigon. the saigon game because i'm sorry about this thumping here um <laughs> because it's going to be a wicked game i have chosen to join the gold team and Ooh, uh, you're on the go- so explain the gold side of it what is the gold team doing um, the gold team looks like they are going to be the survivors. So in terms of whatever the storyline that, uh, that Eric has cooked up, mm-hmm. we're going to get pummeled. Oh, okay. Is that all? We are shorthanded. <laughs> um, it is basically the idea of that team was so that Charles and his lovely lady and some of the, the organizers can get a few minutes to have some field time. You know, get a few minutes to go out and play, have a few rounds. Um, and then... I think they just want to pound on us. So that team, I've looked at it. There's quite the gang on there. Uh, they're going to come home back black and blue, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Excellent. Wicked. I'm excited for it. And then, a- and then after that is the 7th at Moncton Paintball, uh, the Airsoft lads. The Airsoft folks are coming back to Moncton Paintball July 7th for their game, uh, which will be a lot of fun because I've got that new toy that I picked up uh, that our, our sweet, sweet, uh, sponsor Dave and Marie at Commando Paintball hooked me up with uh, with a magazine. It was beautiful. So looking forward to getting that out. Getting that going. Mm. So yeah, it's kind of like update night update night here at uh, the Maritime Paintball. Kind of, yeah. There's uh, a lot, lot of happening in the next few. A lot, a lot happening in the next like four weeks, right? Like four four or five weeks. What is that? What are you shaking? Nightmare PB uh, for thirty percent off your G fuel. It sounds crunchy. It's, it f- it's frozen, right? It's frozen. Okay, <laughs> like it ain't supposed to be that crunchy, bro. Um, it is, but uh, that's the Bahama Mama. It's not bad. Oh yeah. So okay. use uh, that, that 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 code. Get you something somewhere, I guess. Get your get your stuff somewhere somehow, some way. Oh, oh. Camera two is moving. Camera yeah. camera one camera two. Camera one? Uh, I should do that. No, I'm not going to do that. That'll My poor laptop here is overheating as is. Um, yes, I, can he- I can hear it screaming through the... Through actually, that the might just be dance. feedback on the mic. There we go. Um, oh. What? Now that we're all can good. We... Everything's great. I'm fiddling with I know, something I'm, I'm here. I'm kind of thrown off. You're fiddling with something. So I get to tell everybody, last week, if you were listening to the show, Brad kind of went on a bit of a, I am not going to go play anywhere if I can't get paid. Because he's going to get beaten if he tries to go anywhere fun. It's true. So <laughs> It's not that I think that I deserve 
free no, no, paintball I, and trips. I, no, no, that's why I added the caveat that it's because you're about to get married and you know you're being responsible. You got two kids, so the gods have decided that Brad and I are going to go to Wasega. Yeah, apparently um, that, that happened. Yeah, that happened very, very quickly after last week's show. Um, our guests were quite adamant that Bradley and I get to go, so I get to finally check something off my bucket list um, for paintball. And the lovely Miss Donna is hooking us up. Uh, lead farmers helping us out. Nightmares helping us out. The grumpy old men are coming down. George, who has an impressive handle on his Klingon. I I like, was a little I thrown was, off by that. I was I, very impressed. I, like, I uh, yeah, I kind of threw that in as a joke, and I was like, hey, um, can we like we need to put something above? What did he say? We need to we need to put the words above the shack, like the like the uh, minds of more uh, of uh, Moria, Moria, Mor. Minds of Moria. Moria, yeah. That, that's uh, speak friend and enter. Yeah. And that's not Klingon. That's Dwarvish. But Sorry, the yes, sentiment is dwarfish. still there. Yeah. That's Dwarvish, but the sentiment is still there. Um, he had Kapla. There's a whole bunch of things. I want I, I want to call him a... Uh, yeah, because I, I was like... A filthy Patak. I was like, we need to write it in, in some nerd language, like Elvish or Klingon. And then he just fires back with a bunch of Klingon. I was like, yeah, okay, like, that's what I, we're doing. I've got, okay. I've got the, the original Klingon <laughs> to uh, English dictionary. And I'm really? pretty sure the Grand Vizier of Smokanda has, I think, Hamlet in, in, in Klingon. Or maybe Macbeth in, in the original Klingon, which apparently it is better. So we'll ask George about that. So we got with Sega, we got Enemy, which they're doing night games. Have you mm. seen the pictures? If you haven't, check it out. Go on Facebook, everybody. Check out Enemy Paintball and see the night field that these guys have built. It's beautiful. It see the just, videos that he's been putting up? Like, they're put, they're oh. doing such great work for marketing and promoting this field. Um, the, the only thing they I would it. ask of, of the folks over at Enemy, and I think they're doing this for a reason, is that everything's in the private group. Unless you're part of the private group, you can't see anything. It's like you got well, you you to gotta show you this be part. glory to the rest of the world. I think the, that the word is getting out just through those pictures. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what? If you want to be able to see the exclusive content, you gotta you got to pay the exclusive price and become a member at <laughs> which, Enemy. Which costs all of like six seconds of clicking join group. Um, yes. Um, I love that you posted stuff for, from MWR. I love his new patches. Um, I have to get one. He's got a whole bunch a, of new a cool stuff. Squeegee holder. I was a thing I never thought I needed till now. Right. But I, I don't. I don't run around with a lot of tactical gear on me. I tend to be more speedball outfit. So yeah. I don't know where I would. You're put telling. It. I would fill that sucker with paint, and I would put the squeegee in there. And just keep that sucker ready to just I see smack what somebody with it. Yes, bud. I think I might have to be for for uh, for the next like MagFed game that we go play. I kind of want to have that like dip that in paint so I could just slap people. As slap they go somebody by. with with the squeegee with the uh, with the barrel made. I would. I mean, we discussed this when the last time we ran the CMC that we have a no contact rule because it's paintball and there should be no physical contact. You know, fisticuffs. But I stand by that the squeegee tag is a legitimate tactic I, we should I, uh, yeah i'm so cmc is probably not happening this okay. year it's too late now uh, i don't want to scramble to get it going um if we can get it running next year i think we'll put that rule in i think the squeegee slap is close enough that it's worth it but you're not going to knock somebody's mask off did you just lose your audio I can hear you just fine. You're good? Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> He's giving me hand signals like I'm not talking into the microphone, like something just went catastrophically wrong. Um, it's because my, <laughs> my, my audio cut out for a second. Oh. So I'm like pointing, going, I can't hear you. <laughs> and then I'm like looking, what did I click? Because I'm a moron. Uh, the real yes, Mr. Savage it. is in the chat. What's going on, my, <sighs> my guy? My dude, he is playing on the gold team, Bradley. I I would I am, expect him nowhere else. I am putting the Nova in his hands, and I'm letting him use it. And I'm there. You go. Beautiful. We'll have we will bring the Savage one over to the land of paintball, and I think he get will him be, a oh. good mask. Do not let him wear a rental mask. 
Uh, oh, I've got, um, I've got, I've got two proflexes. Beautiful. I mean, he's tough. He'll be able to take a pop in the jaw if he gets. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. He's fine. He'll be fine. I, yeah, I'm I just, got a mask for you, I just don't want him wearing a, an uncomfortable rental mask. Not um, with those because he wears glasses. Um, that's true. And he if he also, doesn't have thermal, he's going to fog up. He also had a bad time the first time he played paintball. Oh. The first time he went out was rental gear. He was telling me he had a bunch of rental gear, and I'm like, nah, dude, then you didn't you didn't play paintball. Savage, I got you, so, baby. I got you. you come uh, see your king, baby. I got you. And we'll, then uh, we'll Mike uh, Mike Jr. over there saying that the uh, the barrel made soaked in paint sounds like a sounds like a messy load of fun. Well, it's like that uh, that flamethrower that you that I sent you the that, other day. Oh my god, that's such a I get it. a novel. I'm gonna call it a novel idea. Yes, it's a creative novel idea. Um, I would be, you know, when like something is funny, like you get pranked and you're mad, but it's funny and you can't be entirely mad, but you're still a little annoyed. You know that feeling? Those mixed emotions. You That's how I'd feel. Traveled. I'd be like, I couldn't be mad. Of hours in cars with me. I just, I know that frustration. <laughs> like I couldn't, I couldn't be mad at somebody for getting me with, with a paint squirt gun, essentially that plays as a flamethrower, but I would be annoyed at the cleanup. Oh my god! That's where I'd yeah. be. I'd be like, I'd be like, ah, this is funny. Uh, PB Vault. That's a new name in the chat. I haven't seen you. Who are you? That's gonna go look you up. I'm, a, I'm a research you right now. Oh, look at that. He's, he, he's, just, he's gonna Google you right now and see, and see who you are, PB Vault. I'm excited for this because new people. So welcome. <laughs> yeah. What is up? Clear, yeah, Mike. Clear the trenches. Absolutely. That would yeah. be that would be a nightmare on um, um, SNL. I was gonna say SNL, but uh, back in the day with the trains at uh, at Hillsborough, rest in peace. Moncton. Can you oh, imagine God. coming around in that train and just hosing that entire train down like the <laughs> Ghostbusters with the slime cannon? Man, it would be. Um, by the way, this show is brought to you by, Monk, speaking of, Moncton Paintball, uh, one of the Maritime's best fields out there. It is tight, close quarters combat in the town. They've got some really cool woods <laughs> that are just... Okay. You had dirty thoughts or something. Somebody slipped somewhere. No, I don't no. The PB the Vault though. guys, they show, whoever's running the PB Vault page is like, yo. I'm like, yo, what's up? I just clicked on their link, went to their profile page, and all I can see is like, is clearly spam posts of like, say yes to the skinny jeans by saying no to the donuts, and nothing tastes tantamount to thin feels. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> So I don't know if their account got like got hacked at one point and they never noticed, but um, PB I Vault, you got to go clean your stuff up. No, they don't. They should just roll with it, man. Just no, it's it's like those those roll the math stones. Those things are are uh, they're tagging like thirty people. Uh, oh. In the yeah, it's one. Of, it's like a spam account now, um, and the web page says still under construction. So that's as far as we got there. That's my sleuthing for the night. Um, is anybody watching the hockey game? Could somebody give me the give me the the idea on the points? I know the hockey game started at nine, our time. And so. you know what? Yep, that just occurred to me. That is why all of our friends, a bunch of our our, our hockey watching friends, aren't here tonight. That's okay. We don't hold it against you. No, I'm that's a terrible. Fine. Canadian. That's fine. I don't I don't watch hockey. So I watch. So my rule of thumb is I watch uh, the Leafs because I was raised a Leafs fan. Um, uh, fight me. And, uh, and then when they get knocked out, um, <laughs> it switches over to anybody but the Habs. And then um, when, it gets, when it gets near to the end, uh, like right now, it's uh, whatever Canadian team is <laughs> still in the running. <laughs> Which My right now the Oilers are getting stomped, so it's not Oh, it's not bad, fun. man. Yeah. It's not looking good for our Oilers. Um, nope. <laughs> My, My coworker is a big, um, he's a big Florida fan. So he said some very un-Canadian like things about the Oilers today tisk, tisk. at work. I'm just, I, um, it's one thing to lose if the to. the Bruins were there, I'd be cheering for them. So, I mean, well, that's just it. It's it's one thing to lose to an American team when it's Canada when it's Canadian team versus an American team. But I mean, let's be honest, the Canadian team is mostly Americans and Russians, anyways. Like it's, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, 
it's the fact that it's like it's Florida. Why is Florida's why why do they have a hockey team that's so good? Well, I mean Las Vegas. It, them too. Why why are the play why are the hot places LA. in the United States got such good hockey players? Is the Her- Carolina Hurricanes still a team? I uh, think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So um, anyways. Moving right along, though, we're talking to... uh, Paintball. Yeah, I mean, right? Welcome to the Maritime Paintball Hockey Team. Hockey... uh, We're not talking to anybody, which is kind of nice, except for the Void and whoever's listening to us on... There is currently... 7.9 CHSR production. Yes, that. Uh, The folks out there, the beautiful, beautiful people out there. Um, So what... Okay, what do we got coming up first? We've got NME. We got the Joust, right? That's the next... That's the first thing coming up. Uh, the first thing coming up is no, street, street ball. ball. Street ball, but that's been postponed to Sunday. That's been postponed to Sunday. So for those who don't know who are listening on the radio, uh, at Moncton Paintball, they run a few events a year and a few other places around uh, around run street ball. So think like when you were young and you watched people playing pickup basketball mm. and it would be 4v4, random people. You'd get one guy who doesn't know a thing, one guy who's really good, and then a couple guys who are like, eh. And you just mix and match the teams. They do a bracket and bing, 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 bing. I've seen it 3v3. I've seen it 4v4. And I've seen it 5v5 once. And, <laughs> oh, buddy, I've heard, like, Glorious. the legends of 10-man. And I just, I just, I get chills thinking of that much paint getting thrown at once. But, man, uh, um, so they do that. That runs uh, from 9 in the morning till about 4 in the afternoon, traditional drop-off time. Uh, Mama K is coming out to feed everybody at a price because... Mama K's got to make Mama money. K, like, Mama K's got to make money. Mama got to make home money. Um, I am just getting... Ain't nothing wrong with that. A wee bit. A wee bit of information here. Oh. So, yes, you know where it is, ladies and gentlemen. 82 McFarland Road in Moncton. Yes. Moncton paintball, um, yeah, streetball is fantastic. It is so much fun. That was the first time you played speedball, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, they 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 got me out to play speedball for the first time at that at at, at streetball. I had a blast. I under it gave me a kind of a new appreciation for that uh, that type of ball. Mm-hmm. Once you yeah. once you're really into it and you're able to ignore the hotheads that. Mm-hmm give it a bad rep you know what i mean like then then you suddenly realize you're like oh oh this is this is the sport side of the game we've seen the hotheads in magfed though oh gosh there's hotheads in every part of paintball but right they just got to know how to navigate them um Mm -hmm. it's like i've been saying the last few weeks um they're they're competitive yes and i'm not a competitive person i'm out there to have fun and as you put it and i thought it was one of the funniest things you've ever texted me is those guys are not out there to entertain or tolerate the king of paintball they are there to win and i thought that was so so very funny and so true right i'm like they're not no i mean i don't really do, right. i don't care For, but i do <clears> understand no, that it. it kind of it can it can rub another man's rhubarb the wrong way <laughs> Ain't never touch another man's rhubarb. Um, I have no idea where that saying comes from. Batman 89, the Joker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. That That is a fever dream of a movie. I'm going to go watch that tonight. Really? Jack Nicholson? That's, that's, I love that movie, man. Jack Nicholson is the best Joker. Sorry, we're off topic oh, again. No, you can't say that. Yeah. I, 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 I have to disagree. He's not the best Joker. All right, which one's he, the best one? He is Mark Hamill. Okay, no, no, no. Let me rephrase it. Nicholson was the best actor. Like, But he's Jack. He's just playing Jack Nicholson. Yeah, which is, let's be honest here. If Jack Nicholson was given off the leash, he'd become the Joker. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jack, Jack Torrance was... Jack Torrance was a very, very similar... Okay, I see, I see. But, like, yeah, um, like, real people, real actors... Like in movies, I would say Jack Nicholson. The, the Hamill was the perfect comic book. Um, Joker. I think that's just a generational thing too. Probably. Just because, like, for me, it's it's Mark Hamill, it's uh, Kevin Conroy, that's the Batman, that's the Joker. Um, but 
anyways, off that topic again. <laughs> but after Street, Street Ball, it is uh, it's enemy. So we will be leaving. I just looked at our itinerary. It's not as bad as I thought it was for Friday. So, what time in the morning? Me. We're flying out of Moncton, right? Yeah, at eleven. Yeah, which is great because I have to get there. <laughs> exactly. I know. That's that's. I think I might have done that on purpose, but uh, which is glorious. That's fantastic. And then, uh, and yeah, then, and then we scoot over to. Uh, we land. We go directly to enemy. Uh, I was told very specifically by Boss Weber. Do not stop at the LC or the uh, whatever you Ontarians call the LC. Uh, do not stop at any uh, any other place. Just go directly to enemy. Don't stop at the grocery store. Don't stop and get anything. Go right there and go check it out because the boss has, has given me really specific instructions. Beautiful. Jack Nicholson should have been Bond. Hmm. I don't see it. Yeah. I can see why you would say that, uh, depending on the era, because if you're going like Roger Moore, who is very, like, flamboyant, it was very ridiculous. It's kind of like Pierce Brosnan in, in the early 2000s. It was kind of silly. Yeah, um, that, was, that was ridiculous. Kind of kind of dark, kind of weird. Um, Jack would have been gritty. I would have liked that. And so then we got, yeah, the, the jousted enemy for the prize. The prize. Multiple prizes. Let's be honest here. Some of them are like there. There's some awesome prizes, but the prize you get a you get a spot in the Hormesis Challenge. Yes. You get to try. You get to duel against the Maritimes' own Cody McDonald. I'm trying to From, think who else uh, is in it. Yeah, because there's Cody's going to be there, and then there's, uh, there's a bunch. Who else is in it? Cody's in it. He's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, there's also for the longest kill streak at at the Joust. That's going to be a, a brand new 180R. Right, one of the lads is bringing that as a as a prize to yeah. pets. Yeah, a 180R. Oh. So that's going to be a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. And then they were um, saying, how many times would we get out? They said like it's it's fast and it goes and you go 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 all day. Well, you got to think like, it's uh, you're it's the the nice thing about the one v ones is uh you get them or you don't <laughs> well that's just it and and there's it's because it's how do i word it Jeez, my brain is just turning to mush 1v1 you're not gonna be able to shoot a lot of paint you're not you know what i mean like you're gonna shoot paint but you're not gonna be it's not gonna be like locking down a lane against a on a 5v5 so it's gonna be quick turnaround right you're gonna go out with a little bit of paint you're gonna shoot and then you're gonna come back and then the next person on your team goes and it's just like boom 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 um, yeah, so yeah. it's going to be great. It's going to be a blast. And what I'm pumped for is just, it's, it is just going to be fun, right? Oh, there's man. obviously competition. There's obviously prizes and stuff, stuff on the line, but it's going to be fun. 1v1 is always fun. I'm looking forward to those people of meeting everybody there because they are all, is there an ammo carry limit? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I would bet money they... You want to go out there with 10 pods? Go for it. I can't see that they would say that. They would say no. I don't imagine why you'd want to do it. I'm but. looking for the rules myself right now. And okay. I don't see them. Um, yeah, it's going to be super quick. That looks like it's... Uh, that's just going to be a ball. It looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Like, honestly. And then after the and 1v1... The that are coming. Yeah, it's we got great people coming down. Uh, after the one v one, then we're talking like basically a big party, and then night paintball, and then more party, uh -huh. and then and then hangover, and then uh, we ease our way back to, to Toronto. We find yeah. ourselves a place to crash for the uh, for the night. Yep, and we get on our plane early in the morning. We get back around ten eleven o'clock our time here. Which is great. Uh, you get home by 2 o'clock. I'm home by noon. I can pick my kid up. I can spend the afternoon with my kid. Um, that's going to be sick. Because then I immediately start my my new gig, slinging mop again for the summer. Woo! Mop giant. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nothing I wrong with that. Be... No. 
it's a great job for the summer. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> oh no, I have to clean a school in the summer where there's no children. Oh. Right. You're basically just there. like, oh, there's dust again. Weep, 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 weep. Well, <laughs> no, there's a lot of you gotta you gotta strip all the wax off the floor. Oh, that's like right. That. You guys refinish everything. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge job. But when you like physical labor and you wanna you wanna keep this just keep this winning this winning losing weight. Uh, train that I got going here. I might as well keep it on. Oh, so yes, I've been pricing out shacks because, ladies and gentlemen, we're grumpy old men. We truly are. I don't just I don't have just a gom to the number two gom way because gom way right now is in transition. It is mobile. Um, I'm thinking that it's going to be a little hard a little hard side trailer that we can haul with uh, with Cliff, something small, and then I'll just. Gom two gom way will be mobile, and then I'll have a little jar of of dirt from the Holy Land, <laughs> so that it is that it is sovereign territory, <laughs> and we'll just kind of put that under the counter, so that it, yes, I'm always I I am always in the embassy, which is good. So uh, that'll be awesome. That's taking a little more hunting though. It's going to take a little bit of a project because I don't want to have to uh, to stay in hotels anymore. Like I'm not for what I would spend to buy that little trailer, it would be two. It would have cost us a year what we spent. Jeez, what we spent to stay in at that Airbnb. So I might as well make it worth it. What are you fiddling well, with over there. Uh, typing. Sorry. Um, ah. I love the idea of it being mobile. I like being able to take two gone way to different fields when it when it's applicable when it makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't take it for a walk on, um, somewhere just the cost of gas and the hassle of moving it. Um, yeah. But, I mean, XP having a big game. Yeah, let's go. Let's pack up two gone way. Let's let's show up, plunk down. Let's rock and roll. And then... Right. Uh, D-Day, um, Wasega, Enemy. I wouldn't care then because I would just leave and sleep in the trailer, pull over and sleep for a couple of hours. Who cares? Yeah, as long as the trailer fits you know comfortably that that's all that matters it is being bought that it can sleep two minimum comfortably three preferably because it isn't just for for us it's for for the prince and i right yeah no, that's just it. when i decide or if something happens i mean you've got two kids and, and a wife there's going to be things where i'm going to want to go and visit the grumpy old men it might not necessarily be D-Day. One day, I might just be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take a weekend. Yeah. I'm going to throw the prince in, and we're just going to go see the grumpy old man, and I'm just going to unleash him on commando for the day. Actually, I, th I, could, I think Dave Marie would love him. Uh, they'd have a blast. You'd, you'd turn your back and turn back around, and you would just see the little one going along with the front-end loader. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. He would, he, no, he wouldn't touch it unless permission, but I guarantee he no, would. No, that's what I mean. You're going to see him part. like... You're, and he would have cruised with Dave all weekend. He'd have been so happy. Oh, yeah. He's he would have had a blast. I, I found pictures of him from when he was two and a half uh, from, from 2020 when I first started going back and balling again and him at the field. And I'd forgotten how little he was when we started bringing him to Moncton Paintball. Yeah, so, he's a wee little thing. Just, he was knee high to a duck. I still remember the day when he was <laughs> that damn glass bottle. Drop it. <laughs> I heard a collective like everybody in the, in that area just went back to the truck. Oh man, you little what a man, what a kid. Yeah, you so funny. Oh man, it was oh. great. So yeah, having two gone way mobile is definitely a benefit. It's going to be awesome, uh, especially because yeah, so. I'm picturing um, like it's. <laughs> Disney always did it. It was Disney. It was either like Goof Troop or if it was like the Goofy movie. I forget. But it's like you see like the little trailer rolls up and it just like starts unfolding. And then just like signs and little lawn chairs are popping out. <laughs> like Yeah. Uh, goofy. It's yeah. Always Goofy. Uh, Goof Troop is the one where he like rolls into town and the trailer crashes next to Pete's house. Yes. Oh. Right. And it's just like. Yeah. and just like opens all up I'm like uh -huh. I'm just I want to see like a roll of turf come out and just be like like a blanket <laughs> oh. just put down well 
if I go next time I go see Dave, um, I know he's got a line on some really like good AstroTurf. Beauty. Get some of it, Just cut it to size, throw turf. it in the trailer. You're laughing. Right? Right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my intention is that uh, the king's tent will now be mobile and I don't have to deal with hauling the, stuff Oh, it's around. the king's caravan. It's the caravan. It's the caravan. And you know what? I've decided what I'm going to paint it. Periwinkle blue. Ooh. Are you going to ask everybody if they like dags? <laughs> as long as they're not German shepherds. <laughs> I don't like them. They're not nice. <laughs> oh, wizard, don't message me right now, buddy. I want to play Project Zomboid. I'll be there in half an hour. Relax. <laughs> Royal sure. purple. The same color. Oh, um. <laughs> Crown Royal velvet bag purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's face just like. Uh, yes, sir. If you're just joining us on beautiful 97.9 CHSR in Fredericton, this is the Maritime Paintball Podcast, and we are talking about, you know, just the weeks, the updates, what's new, what's hot, what's exciting in the universe of uh, of our, our of Maritime Paintball. So then, after NME, we come back, and AXP is running the Battle of Saigon. Mm, which, um, um, what you got info from Charles, right, about about that, about the updates? I haven't. Let me pull up the old chat skis and see here what we've got because yeah. Charles has been very patiently sending me stuff. Um, if you take a quick gander here, we could find the link and Bradley can put the link up to the AXP page. They have put up some an updated uh, an updated list of players we've got a half decent little group starting to form here i'd love to see the moncton a bunch of the moncton folks come out for mm, this it'd be nice they're so um, close like there's no reason for the guys, folks from moncton not go yeah really um i'm seeing they, they've brought up a big gang plus one plus two plus one um this is awesome a lot of these people i i don't know a lot of these people i know a lot of the gold team I know a few of the blue and a few of the red, but that's a lot of new people. So uh, everybody in New Brunswick, guys, come on. We have to get out. Uh, we got to support another game. We want to get this thing to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And the only way it's going to get bigger is if we all show up. Now, I don't know if the CPS or what's running that weekend. So, I mean, obviously, if people have commitments. They do have to follow them. But uh, it's going to be awesome. He's got camping, 15 bucks not that expensive for camping and if you're there the last day it's free there you go so there's an incentive to hang out right um <sighs> he's got, being really nice he's uh, got a he's uh, small little Porter update John. here from two days ago uh -huh. Uh -huh. of uh this is a sneak peek one of the survivors of saigon missions being planned by eric uh, it's called Gold Eagle Ooh. Down. So the gold team has crashed in no man's land after uh, a strike on their helicopter Limited ammunition, they defend their position against the red team, while the blue team uh, deploys to assist gold team's extraction. Uh, think multiple president's games or VIP's extractions under fire. Uh, will blue team oh, be God. able to fulfill their role as the savior of the surviving gold team members, and will red complete their mission and secure the field? Which role will you play? Uh, so um, the gold team is going to be at the helicopter, I would suspect, mm. at AXP. Mm -hmm. And we have to hold out until our reinforcements come and at least somebody, one of us has to survive and be brought off the field. That's my understanding. That is going to be sick. It's, gonna it be sounds fun. like it's going to be an absolute ton of fun. Um, I genuinely hope that it goes well and, and that people enjoy themselves because it would be great to see, big scenario games come back to the Maritimes. We kind of lost them when Longreach went away because they were kind of holding them. Uh, exactly. And that is what this needs to be. We need to start seeing those games again. And again, everybody's got to get out and, and get to these games and support these games because yep. they won't keep happening if we don't get out. No. Now, at the same time, what I hope uh, was learned from the past, and I believe it has been. That's why I'm so excited for this, because I, I think the lesson has been learned. 
we ran into an issue back in the day where every time you turned around, a field was running an event, quote unquote event. Big, sorry, mm-hmm. there's air quotes happening here. For those on the radio, I've got, you can't hear them, they're air quotes. Um, and it was basically a walk on game with a name. And it got to the point where every weekend a field was running something with a name. And it got to the point where everyone stopped going because why would you pay $25 entry for some special event? And all it was was a walk on where they gave a flag a name. Yeah. Right. And it just, it burned, it burned everybody. And now I think the wounds have healed. I think they're making a great attempt at bringing it back. They've got, proper planning happening here uh, yeah they've some... got proper planning he's putting together a really cool story um charles is really really trying to get the people out there mm-hmm. because he sees he sees what i see is that we can bring i mean everybody the maritimes in the summer is beautiful for our friends in ontario who are listening if you've never been here come and visit us in the summer um PEI is absolutely gorgeous. New Brunswick is beautiful. Nova Scotia is beautiful. I assume Newfoundland is. I've never been there, but you've been there. And... Newfoundland's really nice in the summer, uh, but there's no paintball. <laughs> so I th- there is. I shouldn't say there isn't. There's uh, like one or two fields uh, in in Newfoundland. But um, huh. if you're going to Newfoundland, you're not going to go play paintball. Trust me. You, if you're going to Newfoundland, you're going for Newfoundland, which... Don't get me started. I'll talk all day about it. Um, I mean, I'd like to go to Newfoundland. If we play ball while I was there, I wouldn't complain. There's a really nice indoor facility, indoor, outdoor. They have both uh, called uh, Frontline. Actually, they're called Frontline Paintball. Hey, Um, cool. They, uh, I went in one time when I was visiting family and I was like, yo, I was like, I want to go check out this Frontline place. And, um, Sorry, Frontline Action is what it's called. And, okay. um, yeah, so they've got your basic rental packages and all that stuff. But what's really cool is that their field, they have, like, a two-story indoor warehouse kind of thing where you can play some airsoft, uh, nerf, mm-hmm. really, really complicated-looking. Well, it's not complicated to play, but it's, like, really advanced-looking laser tag, which is pretty cool. Um, okay. They even do um, jelly balls. They do the jelly balls indoors. So I'm just thinking, like, bachelor parties would be an absolute blast. Um, And the the field looks pretty nice. The hard part about paintball in Newfoundland is that, like, for example, I went, I was there for a couple of weeks for work one time. And one weekend, it's a perfectly sunny day, not a cloud in the sky, because it was 110 kilometer winds. (laughs) Right? So, like, that just happens. (laughs) Especially because these guys are located in St. John's, so you're, you're, oh. the harbor is right there. So you're you're literally paintballing, and if you look to your left, you're looking at the Atlantic Ocean. So, um, yeah. but it's bueno. it's a it's a really nice facility. It's turfed with buildings on the outside, and the indoor side of it's got like airsoft and stuff. So, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it is like so that. cool. So I would love to go. Uh, I'd love to go back to Newfoundland. Uh, hopefully, actually, I probably will be going back to Newfoundland, probably not next year, but the year after. So, because I got family there. Lots and lots of family. Irish family. So, you know, there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But, uh, yeah. Um, f- folks, come out to the Maritimes. Like, we are worth traveling to. Even if it's just come out for a paintball game for one day, but, like, book a week vacation. There's so much to do here. In August, we have a chocolate festival in St. Stephen. Cause that's where the, oh. g- that's where the Ganong factory is. Yeah. You know, um, we have, um, I love the, how you pronounce that by the way. Ganong. Ganong. Like gong. Ganong. Yeah. The gang on. The gang on. Oh. I heard. I, I just. I just heard Andrew. I just heard the Kaiser start screaming. From, <laughs> I, I just heard it. It's, it's uh, the Fundy, the the Fundy Park, Kishmaquack National Park, where uh, mm-hmm. actually where my family's from, it is a beautiful spot. So come check it out. Uh, get some paintball in. Go see some cool stuff. Go do Magnetic Hill in Moncton. That's always fun. That's a fun little, a little gimmick. 
You do it once and you're done, but it's a fun little gimmick. I saw the uh, the lineup that was there <laughs> yesterday. There, dude, it was a huge lineup of tourists uh, to go and to go do the magnetic hill. Right. I love that there's there's a full on wow. explanation of how it's done too. Like you roll up and they explain to you how it works, and you're still like, it breaks your brain. You're still mystified. Yeah, it's so to... weird because they even explain. It. They're like, this is the exact physics that's happening. You're like, okay, I understand. And then your car starts rolling backwards up a hill, and you're like. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Your brain just starts screaming. It's like this. This does not. This does not compute. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's always fun. Then, uh, so we got what? Joust, AX, or Streetball, Joust, AXP, and then Wasaga. Going to the oh. big game. Going to to the big game at Wasaga that we've always wanted to. It's always been on both of our bucket lists. We've always been meaning yeah. to go. And then this year was just like well, a bunch of you got together and pulled the trigger on it and then told me afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I I do apologize for not giving you a choice in this matter. But the the when you pulled up the ticket prices, you're like, those ticket prices are really cheap. And I immediately looked. I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should not have looked at the price of those tickets. And now we are going. Yeah. But... Because Miss Miss Donna offered like to hook us up, and everybody was really like want wanted us to go, and uh, I really wanted to go. I'm not gonna lie; nobody really oh. cares if we show up, but I care. So I wanted going. to go. I want to go. It was just it was one of those things where somebody was like, "Man, are you gonna go to Wasaga?" I'm like, "I can't. Well, zero hour. I can't. Like, unless you people want to pay me, no, I'm not going." <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like a jerk here, but but it costs a lot of money to travel. Um, William McDonald, it is never too late, sir. Yeah, that you have 18 minutes oh. to sit here and stare at our beautiful mugs. Uh, so Wasaga is going to be great. It's a it's the Wasaga big game. Uh, what can we say about it other than it's it's more of a festival? Honestly, it's just huge. It's big. It's a massive amount of players. We get to see. Um, the Grumpy Old Men. We get to see Nightmare. We're going to see uh, Lead Farmer's going to be there. But everyone's going to be there. Everyone. It's going to be It's going to be an absolute blast. And i just like to point out the power of networking. Because we are flying into Pearson. Mm -hmm. We're getting picked up by Nightmare, I believe. As, 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 as I understand it. Nah, we have to confirm with him. Be hundred percent sure. Getting picked up by him. Um, I'm not sure where we're going after that. And then some stuff. You know, there's some time goes by. We go to the field, and Lead is just gonna get us. Um, Actually, uh, Lead or the Grumpies. I have I've, I've spoken to the Grumpy lads because the Grumpy ones are coming, and uh, they're gonna bring us some some weaponry as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Because like. The, the reason why the tickets are so cheap is it's like $160 to check a bag. <laughs> like, so we are going with the clothes on our back and a backpack each. Yep. That's it. Um, right. And we do we know where we're staying yet? Nope. Cool. We'll figure that out when we get there. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am, I am, yeah, this is, we're going and this is all bad and it's going to be so much fun. Oh God, it's going to be, so this reminds me of a time that I flew into, I think it was for a Honey Badger game. Yes, it was. It was for Honey Badger. And I flew into Pearson mm -hmm. and just as I was getting on the flight, like just about to go, like put, turn my phone off onto airplane mode, I get a text from my buddy who's supposed to be meeting me in Toronto from Nova Scotia, he goes, uh, I have to take the dog to the vet. I don't know when I'm going to get, I'm going to be there. Now he flew standby at the time. So he, he could just jump on a plane whenever he wanted. Um, okay. so he's like, I don't know when I'm going to be there. And I'm like, okay. So I land in Pearson. <laughs> and I'm like, crap. Is there anybody around who can hit, like help me out? Cause I am now stranded at Pearson. Because the rental car was in his name, like all of that jazz. And uh, one of the guys that I had spoken to from BC, who happened to be who happened to come to Honey Badger, was like, "Yeah, bro, we got you." Never met this man once in my life. 
<laughs> I talked to him on Facebook. That was it. That's so I'm awesome. sitting there scrolling Facebook, trying to figure out what the hell he looks like. <laughs> so, I'm going to get in the car. Like I'm going to get murdered. Yeah, they roll up and they're like, "What up, dude? Get in the car." I'm like, "Okay." So I jump in the car, and they're like, "Where are you staying?" I'm like, "I don't know," because the hotel was in his name. <laughs> And they're like, cool, well, am, you can hang out in our cottage. I'm like, wicked. I am so not worried about it, dude. We will be uh, we It's will not be the fine. first time I've slept in a car. It won't be the last. I don't want to do it, but push comes to shove. I sleep naked, and it's a rental. So let's hope that it's a minivan. <laughs> Just saying. I'm working on the rental side of it, too, as well, right now. we'll get. I'll get it figured out uh, shortly. So... Dear God. <laughs> Every trailer I look at and think of buying, it is, um, the problem is it doesn't have a bog. It needs, it needs to have a toilet or I am not, <laughs> I, I'm not interested. There's, uh, uh, oh, Mark, Mark just showed up. I'm late. What event are we talking about? Wasaga. We're going to Wasaga's big game. Uh, except we have a way there, we have a way back. We don't have a place to stay yet. We're figuring it out when we get there. Um, yeah. Worst case scenario, we make some friends, we stay in some tents. Which means we have I to go buy sleeping bags. <laughs> We're renting a vehicle, uh, and you and I, can we can rock, scissor, paper for one night each. Whoever sleeps in the car one night, and the other person can sleep and snuggle in a tent. Um, I mean, it's going to be August. It's going to be really hot as hell anyway, so I might as well just, might probably just be able to sleep outside. Um, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. so not worried about it. I'm a little bit, but... <laughs> Wuss. I mean, <laughs> we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Somebody somewhere will help us out. Um, I just show up like, hey guys, a um, couple of idiots need a place to stay. <laughs> it's if Chris was able to find a place. William says, year, if you need a twelve-person standing tent with cots, let me know. Flying can't get it on the plane. I think Williams isn't William in Ontario. No, no. Uh, going to an Atlantic Stream event. I'm not. He is. I am. I took too much awesome. time off already, so I can't go. We'll see you there. It's, it's going to be fun. Be a blast. I just <laughs> my bigger worry right now is that rental car. We need to get the rental figured out. Then we'll we'll hammer it out afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll find a vehicle. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Oh no, I'm not worried about the rental. I'm. I'm. That's just what I need to make sure it's done. We'll figure out where to sleep yeah, when we get you there. Are, you are legendarily terrible at making reservations. I am. Yeah, you are. Um, oh, full on. I don't doubt it. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't argue that. Not at all. Um, I'm terrible at it, but I can. I can definitely do this. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I'm not worried. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll get that hammered out. And uh, after with Saga, I. Th- think i'm done traveling for a while um yeah because um, oh that's oh my god no year, that's that's wobbles I'm looking at the name I'm like why do i know yeah. william mcdonald that's wobbles yeah it's wobbles um that? yeah sure. eli comes in eli, eli we're gonna see you go to wasaga eli because we're gonna see you there i would be really happy to see <laughs> eli at wasaga hey eli yeah, you got a place for us to stay when we come to wasaga <laughs> i sleep naked he needs his own room. I don't care where I sleep. I'll sleep. In a, I've slept in a bathtub before. That was fun. I woke up and there was water dripping on me. I, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say I needed my own room. <laughs> I'm just informed. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying that you need your own room. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Street ball is confirmed for Sunday, Cameron. Yes, uh, folks. If you're listening, sorry. If you're listening on the radio, we're watching a live chat on social media here on Facebook and uh, YouTube and Twitch right now. That's why we're kind of talking, pulling up random names. Um, Eli says, yeah, I plan to be at Wasaga. Beautiful. Fantastic. Find us a place to stay, bud. That'd be great. Free would be even better. Um, But most importantly, dry. It's really all we need. I just need dry. I'm willing to sing for my supper. Oh, 100%. I'm I'm not getting married, so I have to do unspeakable things, Eli. 
He is willing to slay dragons. <laughs> I'm saying that happens. Anyways. <laughs> radio show. This is a radio show, and we are not discussing this. Nope. Um, we're running. We're so yeah. running. We got about five minutes left, seven minutes left here, so we're just kind of wrapping up and rambling on about nothing. We really are. The show, well, I mean, there was an initial plan for the show, and then that went sideways. Um, so I, uh, Eli's going to see if he can book us on the base. I've done that before. You ever stayed in the base? It's usually pretty cheap. You get a dorm room. You usually have to share a bathroom oh. with one other room. That's it. Um, That's okay. I did one time. I stayed in Nova Scotia. We stayed at the university. It was 20 bucks a night. We stayed at UNB once. Um, and I think it was like 20 bucks a night. But Ryan. that's back. That's when you could still smoke in the dorms. So oh, wow. We're talking, we're talking a hot minute ago. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Bell. Chris. Chris, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Uh, what's happening? We're uh, we're just we're finishing up the set. We're finishing up the show. We're talking. Uh, we're more or less just rambling on about how where we're gonna stay when we go to Wasaga. Um, Wasaga, are we there yet? Yeah, we're talking Wasaga. We're gonna get there. It's gonna be great. And then we'll figure out lodging. Um, I can't wait. It's gonna be an adventure. It's gonna... Smoking in the shacks. Um, I've I've heard legends of that. I, I I will, I will call Mr. Wizard. He will. I'm sure he can tell me some stories about that. Oh, shacks are wild, man. Growing up in Armukto, we heard stories about the shacks. I was in high school and I was hearing stories about the shacks. So, that's upsetting. Yes, yes, it was. Um, I mean, at the time, it was not upsetting but now as an adult i look back and go that was terrible um smoke in the shacks ended in 2003 cool beautiful well uh what do we got we got eight minutes eight minutes left and uh yeah that's pretty much it though i don't, I don't know you guys got any questions or anything like shoot it in the comments there and we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh talk about it also um I had a thought and I lost it. My God, I'm losing things. I'm. I'm... Oh, <laughs> Mark asking. Uh, so you guys didn't switch over to Airsoft after attending the last event? No. Uh, well, kind of. He bought. He bought Airsoft gear. Ah, I've got a. I've got a couple. I've got a couple pieces, and uh, I really, really like my GTP. It's a little pew pew. I oh, do yeah. want to get a pistol with a fun switch. Yep. Uh, Elon's asking about uh, Gang Wars if we're going to make an appearance and I don't think it's in the cards for us. I think it's too tight. It's too tight with um, the plans for next year um, with the Grumpy Old Men that I, I, I cannot commit to anything else this year because next year there's going to be some fun stuff going on. Yeah, next year might only be two trips for the entire year but they will be epic trips. <coughs> Um, I've I've noticed that Ryan, which is why I haven't bought a a, a pistol with a fun switch, but uh, Josh hooked me up with a Tommy gun. Oof. So once Tats gets it working for me, we're gonna I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna take that to Moncton and I'm just gonna tear that place apart. I'm gonna have so much fun. That's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a blast. Um, and yeah, Eli, we'd, we'd we'd love to go to Gang Wars, but it's too much back and forth when we have to catch a flight. So, yeah. um, and, uh, Mark, I'm not going to be at street ball, but, um, Tom there will, I'm going to be, uh, watching my kids. <laughs> so Mark, um, being a dad. We are double checking with Moncton paintball to confirm it may have been moved to Sunday because of the weather. Um, I have not yet heard from the gas man, so keep an eye on the Facebook in the next couple of hours because uh, next couple of the next day because if the weather is what we think it's going to be, I think we're going to move it to Sunday, which would just be better for everybody. I think so. Well, just, unless I I would have played in the rain, but it would just shred. 
one of the nicest natural fields around and i that's, don't yeah. be responsible for that that's that's a hard hard thing right mm -hmm. um yeah because it's that mixture of like play through it play through anything but at the same time like it you don't want to you don't want to rip the field up ontario you guys are getting a lot of tornado warnings it's a rough year uh ryan says he may have to dip because they're under a tornado warning well, that sucks yeah see and like and Brittany wants to move back to ontario like why no you don't his tree is bent in half they have a pill for that now they won't they will not sponsor us i have tried there we've tried multiple issues. times it's a it's a matter of um the uh, what is it, the canadian drug association yeah yeah they haven't cleared I, I don't think i can i don't think i can I'd get sponsored by blue chew in canada if i could i would well and on that delicious bombshell <laughs> Well, we've, we've got kind of uh, we've got four minutes, course. but um, four minutes. Tell me, tell me a story, Brad. Tell you a story. Uh, tell me a story, Bradley. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. Now I'm blanking. Into a talent agent's office, and he says, "Boy, have I got an act for you." It's a family act, anyways. We're not gonna. <laughs> I know that one. You, can figure, you can all figure the rest of that joke out. And that one's uh, on you. Not I remember here. that one. Um, I would Google that. I, I would totally YouTube and uh, look who's in the and, chat and look up Gilbert Gottfried. Andrew Gagnon. Hey, mein Kaiser. We were just talking about you. Also, Daniel Weber, what's going on? Um, see you soon, buddy. Yeah, we're going to see you shortly. I just, uh, soon, I actually buddy. just messaged, uh, Melissa just asked if there was a recommendation on who we go for a rental car with. Because I know sometimes, like here in Fredericton, you go through Enterprise. Don't, you know, like not, you don't really go through the other people. The, the other ones aren't as good. Um, so, you know. I'm just looking for recommendations. But I mean, I guess we're flying into Pearson. We kind of have our pick of the of the litter, don't we? There's like 17 rent car rental spots at Pearson International. So figure that one out. That's going to be fun. Because I'm going to be the one stuck driving because you don't drive Ontario. And um, oh, if you can tell me if we're going down the Don Valley Parkway, I will absolutely drive in Ontario. I believe we are if we have to go down dvp i will totally drive it just so i could put on pup and crank it <laughs> i love that Do it 180 on the don valley parkway yeah i'm not i won't be doing one for, for the record i will not be doing 180 on for, the don valley parkway. for legal purposes that was a joke <laughs> yes <laughs> yes um yeah so it's gonna, yeah, we'll we'll find something. I'm gonna book that in the next couple of days, and then we're laughing. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm still working on the vlog from uh, Commando, and then uh, by the time that gets out, I'm gonna have to work on the vlog from NME. When that gets out, I'm gonna have to work on the vlog for Wasaga. I'm actually really pumped for this. Um, I knew you would be. Yeah, I'm excited for all the yeah. travel. It's going to be a good time. Uh, I'm just leaving that up for a minute because uh, it is confirmed that Streetball is moved till Sunday. We already knew that. Sunday, be there or be square. Andrew, your ears are burning because we were thinking of you, baby. Always thinking of you. I was making fun of your last name. Not really. I was joking about the chocolate company, but it came up. So, but that's it, folks. Uh, we're going to uh, slowly make our way out of here. So thanks uh, for everyone who stuck around, hanging out with us, chit-chatting, liking, and sharing. Um, we appreciate you. We love you. Yeah, we do. We really do. Um, Tom, so I'm going to ask, mm -hmm. uh, just before we go, I need you to stay on the call for a hot second. But yeah, we're going to see you all very soon. Very excited. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, Comments Question? or comments, guest ideas concerns. or topic ideas, questions, concerns, comments, or grassroots issues. It's from my Walmart days. Uh, please let us know. Shoot us a message anywhere on social media. And if you're listening to us on 97.9 CHSR FM, find us on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube. It's Maritime Paintball Podcast. You can't miss us. Thank you so much for everyone for hanging out with us. And until next week, cheers. Ta-ta.